Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnath. In this module, we will talk about logical operators, which we normally use when we write some business logic. Let's try to understand. Now, logical operators. So if you see here, we have three logical operators, which is logical and, this is logical or, and this is logical not. So where do we use this is normally when you're writing some conditions. Let's take, I want to make sure if this is satisfied and this is satisfied, then only I have to do some condition. So in that case, we need and. And means both conditions should satisfy, then only it'll go to inside, inside diff condition. For example, let's take, I want to find a number that is divisible by both five and seven. Now I want to, I want to see whether a number is divisible by both five and seven. If I write 14, so 14 is divisible by 7, but it's not divisible by 4, not divisible by 5. And so in this case, it should satisfy both the conditions. Now let's take, uh, let's take our right here, 35. Now in this case, 5 divides 35 and 7 also divides 35. So in this case, this AND condition is used normally to check if, if both the conditions are satisfied or not. So that's where we use logical AND. Then we have logical OR where any one condition is satisfied, we will satisfy the condition. So logical R is, if this is true or this is true, the condition is satisfied. So, and logical not, so we use like, we used to check whether not equal or not. For example, I want to write A not equals to B. So when I compare A is equal to five, I compare like this using double equals to, we discussed in the previous module. And if I want to check if A not equal to five, then we have to write A not equal to five. So this is logical not. So this is a logical not. So logical and is used to check if both the conditions are true or not. Logical R is if any one condition is true, um, even if both are true, it will satisfy. And logical not is where we do negation, or where we do not equal, etc. Right? So these two that you see below are called truth tables. So what does it mean by truth table? If one, if in this condition, so where we're using logical and, if this is true and this is true, the result will be true. So that's what here, if this is true and this is true, the result is true. If one is true and other one is false, the result will be false. And even in this case, false and true is false. False and false is also false. So this, so and condition will fail, will only succeed if both are true. Whereas in case of logical R, so you can see here logical R means like if this is true or this is true, the result will be true. And if this is true or this is false, even then the result is true. Even if this is false and this is true, the result is true. So in any one condition, if either this is true or this is true, or any one is true or both are true, the result will be true. And if both are false, the result will be false. So the result will be false for R. So these are called truth tables for logical AND and logical R. So I hope you got some idea about logical operators. In the next module, we'll talk about um, when we are discussing programs, right, you'll understand more in detail about logical operators, right? So in the next module, we'll talk about bitwise operators and shift operators. Thank you and see you in the next module.